touchdown, Thurman. What a catch! What a catch! What a catch! And you can kiss that one goodbye. That's a two-run bomb. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Welcome to tonight's broadcast between the Cypress Creek Coyotes and the Nature Coast Sharks. We're at the Nature Coast Shark Tank for what should be a great game tonight. I'm John McMurdo alongside Dustin Atkins, and Dustin, this should be an excellent matchup tonight. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Cypress Creek Coyotes come in here with a 7-4 and four record. Uh, they played some tough talent earlier in the year playing IMG and Cavalry Christian. They got a few guys that can hit the ball, such as Ryan Maggie, Andrew Ferris, and Seamus Gallagher. Any one of them will make you pay if you leave a pitch hanging over the plate. Yeah, like we said, it's going to be a great matchup, and we're going to pause for the national anthem. All right, we just finished up the National Anthem, and we'll talk about the Sharks real quick because they're getting ready to play ball here. The Sharks dusting off to a, a great start almost halfway through the season with only one loss. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the Sharks? Yeah, Nature Coast comes in tonight's game with an 8-1 record. They also have won la the last two of their three games. Also have some power hitters uh, that can help their offense in a big way. A few names we're going to look out for tonight is Brady McMurdo. Joey Van Cleve and Joseph Rosa, uh, all those guys hitting well over 300. And also, they'll be looking to get a spark for the offense early on tonight. That's right, Dustin. Should be a great matchup of pitching and offense. One's got to give tonight as we get ready to start. Let's talk about the Divinity Med Spa's starting lineup. The Divinity Med Spa's starting lineup. All right, starting first with the Coyotes, leading off playing center field, we got Diesel Brown batting second at shortstop, Andrew Ferris. Batting third, the pitcher, Ryan Maggie. Batting fourth, the first baseman, uh, Shamus Gallagher. Batting fifth, the second baseman, Brendan Pimby. Batting sixth, the third baseman, Kai Lachance. Batting seventh, the DH, Everett Burgess. Batting eighth, the catcher, Roman Secur. And batting ninth, the right fielder, Alex Dubroin. The left fielder is Roman... Saltz, head coach Joe Neal. And for your Sharks, batting first, playing shortstop, Cody Wright, batting second at first base, Joseph Rosa, batting third at center field, Joey Van Cleve, batting fourth, third base, Dylan Palmer, batting fifth, catching, Brady McMurdo, batting sixth at second base is Nate Levitt, batting seventh, the right fielder, Bryce Huell, batting eighth, the DH, Jaden Fuentes, and batting ninth, the left fielder, Cassius Williams, and on the bump for the Sharks, the pitcher, number 18, Raymond Gretsch, and the head coach is Dan Garifano. That's your Divinity Med Spa starting lineup. All right, the warm-up pitches are in. McMurdo's headed out to the mound to last-minute discussion with Gretchen. We'll get this get this party started, Dustin. Yeah, great weather tonight. Right now, looks like we're in the mid-70s. Could be in the upper 60s by the middle innings, so great, great weather for tonight's game. 
yeah, the weather's been strange. It's kind of like the desert where we've been sweating the day and a little cold at night, but I think you hit it right on the head if tonight's a perfect game for baseball. And leading off will be the center fielder, Diesel Brown. And pitch number one in there for ball. Gretsch delivers, and it's a ground ball to third base. Palmer comes up with the ball. It's over to first to Rosa for the outs. And two pitches in, the Sharks have their first out. Yeah, great play by Palmer there. Nice, clean field. Good throw over time. Took a, had plenty of time to, to give on that throw. And nice, quick, easy out for the Sharks. I'll bring up the shortstop, Andrew Ferris. Pitch on its way. Breaks over for a strike. Gretsch starts him with an off-speed pitch there. Quickly comes set. And the delivery misses outside for ball one. Now one ball and one strike with one out. We're early here in the top of the first inning. Pitches on its way. Misses outside for ball two. So two balls and one strike. The count to Ferris. Gretsch comes set, the delivery, a check swing, did he go? And the first base umpire says, no, he did not. Good job on Ferris there to pull back on that one. That's right, and that'll put the count at 3-1. So the advantage goes to Ferris. Pitch on its way, and that's going to miss inside for ball four. So Gretsch quickly got the first out. And now we have a rudder on first. That's going to bring up the number three hitter, the pitcher, Ryan Maggie. So we got the pitcher versus pitcher matchup here. And that pitch must have missed downstairs. Yeah, it looked like ball it one. must have been just low in the zone there. Early indication is it's going to be a tight zone. And that ball's put in play. They're going to turn two. Wow. Second to short the first. And that's going to. So we'll go to the middle of the first here. Uh, one hit, no runs scored, and the Sharks will be coming up. One of the reasons we've been so successful at Divinity Med Spa is because we understand what people are looking for. They want to look rested, refreshed, good for their age. We can accomplish this by treatments such as Botox, filler, lasers, and an array of facials, all by a team of trusted experts. This is Divinity, Hernando County's only locally owned and operated med spa. Come see us. We can't wait to meet you. All right, welcome back to the broadcast. The Coyotes are getting ready on defense here. So we saw a, a quick out and then a walk and then a double play to start off the top half of the first. Yeah, Sharks defense coming up big in that first inning, helping out their pitcher in a big way, helping them get out of that inning nice and quick. And 
Now we'll see what they can do on offense. The Sharks will send Cody Wright, the shortstop, up to lead off the inning. Bottom of the first. Busy night here at the Shark Tank. We got softball behind us. And, of course, this game in front of us. Maggie has a quick conference with his catcher, and now they're going to be ready to go to work here. Maggie and them, I'm sure, would like to answer in similar fashion here in the bottom of the first. And there's a shot towards the second baseman, and it's caught in the air. We'll call that a line out. So Cody Wright lines to the second baseman, who fields it for out number one. And that's going to bring up the first baseman for the Sharks, Joseph Rosa. Pitch on its way, and that ball is put into play to the shortstop. Over to one, in time for the out. And two pitches, two outs. Yeah, that's, I don't think it gets more efficient than that for, for Maggie in this game so far. That's going to bring up the number three batter, the center fielder, Joey Van Cleve. And Dustin, I think you got to at least take a pitch. You don't want to give him a three-pitch inning here. No, I, we definitely give them a lot of momentum. Sharks come out swinging. And there's that take for ball one. That ball got away. So two outs. Nobody on base. Early on here, the bottom of the first. Pitch will miss inside for ball two. Tuna. Maggie quickly back to work. And that ball's going to be popped up to center field. He's under it and secures it for the catch. And the Sharks go down 1-2-3 in order. That'll bring us to the end of the first inning. Your score is 0-0. Zero zero. We'll be back right after these messages. to the clubhouse, Tampa Bay's premier baseball and softball training facility. Our 11,000 square foot training facility features rentable cages and bullpen lanes, along with the newest technology such as Hitrax and Rapsodo, baseball and softball pitching machines, full gym and plyo area, all to keep you at the top of your game. We also have a fully stocked baseball and softball pro shop carrying the biggest brands such as Marucci, Rawlings, Easton, DeMarini, Wilson, and many more. If you're in need of training, we also have the area's top professional instructors offering hitting, pitching, fielding, and strength instruction for both baseball and softball players. From youth to professional athletes, the clubhouse has you covered. We are conveniently located one mile east of the Suncoast Parkway on Spring Hill Drive. Stop in and check us out. Welcome back to the broadcast. If you blinked, you missed the first inning because it was quick. We had a quick top half, even though the Coyotes got a base runner. There's a double play, and then the bottom half of the first, the Sharks went down one, two, three. So we'll start off the second inning here. And batting first is Seamus Gallagher, the first baseman. Yeah, both pitchers doing a great job you know, getting out ahead of the counts. And defense so far, it's been some routine plays for the most part, doing what they're supposed to do on both ends. Yeah, both teams showing why they have uh, winning records. This on paper is definitely a good matchup. Swing and a miss for strike one. Like Gretsch through the off-speed pitch there. Yeah, hit the outside corner nicely on that pitch. And that's going to miss outside. Count goes one and one. Uh, 
stretch comes set. And that misses down and away. Two balls and one strike. And a check swing. They say, yes, he did. He offered the pitch. So two balls and two strikes. And Gretsch continuing to work that outside corner. And the pitch on its way. And that's outside. Full count. Full count to Gallagher. Looks like they're trying to work him away here. That's their strategy. And now for the payoff pitch. That ball's put in play to the second baseman, over to one, and there's one down. Yeah, great job by Gretsch staying away from him. Gallagher has had a home run earlier in this season, so he's definitely a guy you do not want to flirt with too much over the plate. Great placement there, and second baseman's able to make the play. Good out for the Sharks to get, and you like him batting in the leadoff spot. So that's going to be the number five hitter, the second baseman, Brendan Timby. And that's right down the middle for strike one. I do apologize. It does look like our first base cam's down at the moment. We'll see if we can get that resolved later in the game. Check swing. They said he did offer us. That's strike two. We've seen a couple of check swings here early. And a swing and a miss for strike three. And there's two down. That'll bring up the third baseman, Kyla Chance. So two, two teams that know how to hit the ball well, but it's so far it's been a pitcher's duel. It really has. And that ball's popped up, back and out of play behind us. Yeah, Gretsch has found a really comfortable spot on that outside. He's been hitting it consistently, got a couple of check swings, so doing really good holding the corner so far. Pitch on the way, and it's popped up, and that's going to drop in to shallow right center field. And that's going to go down as a single in the book. Kind of the seeing eye single over the second baseman's head. Nothing to do about that. No, just a great spot. And with two outs, that'll bring up the designated hitter, Everett Burgess. It's like we do got our first base cam back up and running. And there's a ground ball to short. Right comes across, things about second, goes to first. That's going to be overthrown. It's going to move our runners up to second and third. So right looked over to second, thought he might have had a play there, came across a diamond, and the ball ended up going past Rosa. Yeah. Okay. And that'll bring up the catcher, Circu. But that's the first opportunity they have here with learners on second and third. Try to put up some numbers. Yeah. Off speed pitch drops in there for a strike. The Sharks have two outs. Trying to get that third out. And good stop there. That ball gets away. Ball one. One ball, one strike. So Coyotes are in business here. Thunder's on second and third. There are two outs. So a big moment early on in the game here. 
Pitch is on its way. Look out. That misses up and in. Two balls and one strike. Gretch comes set. And that ball's put in play. Oh, what a catch. And it's caught. What a catch. Levitt there with the nice catch. Goes airborne for it, for the out. And by Coyotes threatened there, but come up short. We'll go to the middle of the second inning. Zero, zero. We'll be back after these messages. Preparing for that next step in life isn't always easy. At Nautilus Financial Group, our combination of experience, professionalism, and access to a wide variety of products and services to help meet all of your financial goals. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Nautilus Financial Group. When you play football, you develop this mentality that you know you can uh, withstand anything. You, you're Mr. Tough Guy. Uh, so years I had been battling. I was just excited to finally meet someone who knew what I was going through, who saw my pain, to think that in a matter of one treatment, and it got better and better as I uh, began to get treatments throughout the month. You know, why would you deal with this pain for another day? Welcome back. We're at the bottom of the second inning here. Dylan Palmer to lead things off for the Sharks. The cleanup batter leading off the inning. There's an exciting pop after the second, Dustin, as the Coyotes had a – they threatened there with runners at second and third and a great catch by Levitt out there at oh, second I base. Know. That ball is another six inches in the air, and we're probably looking at a one nothing game right now. So, yeah, absolutely great play. Uh, And that ball's going to miss away for ball one. Palmer is a is a power hitter. I know for sure he has at least one home run, if not two. And there's a line drive to left field. That's going to be a base hit. So the Sharks are going to start off with a single by Palmer. And that's going to bring up the catcher, Brady McMurdo. Well, that's the first time tonight we've had the leadoff runner aboard for either team. Yeah, great start. Palmer found a pitch he liked right off the bat and pulls it to the left side. And Nature Coast has got their first runner on base on. And that ball catches the plate for strike one. And upstairs for ball. McMurdo was two for two last night, two hits and two walks. As against the Cobras and Hudson. And that ball's put in play to short. They go to second for one, and not going to be a time at first. That'll go down as a fielder's choice. And that'll bring the second baseman, Nate Levitt, to the plate with one out. And the Sharks are going to run up, run for the catcher. I believe that's Demiza coming in, number two, for McMurdo. Yeah, Dylan Demiza will now be on first. So a one out, Levitt at the plate. Demiza, the pinch runner at first. Oh, 
and that catches the inside corner for strike one. Looked a little inside, but gets the call. Let's see if the Sharks are looking to move the base runner here. And that's going to be a drive to left field. He's over, he's got room, and makes the catch in fair territory. And just like that, there are two outs. Yeah, Soltes didn't have to cover too much room on that, was able to get over there and field that relatively easy. He got a nice jump on that, though, so he got over to the line, made the play look, made it look easier than it probably was. That'll bring up the right fielder, Bryce Hewell. Still have a runner on first. And a swing and a miss for strike one. Maggie takes a long look in. And a swing and a miss for strike two. So after getting a leadoff runner aboard, Maggie now has two outs recorded and an 0-2 count on Huel. And Maggie doing a good job mixing up the pitches, going elevated fastball after trying the corners a few times. And that ball's fouled off. Good defensive swing there. We'll do the 0-2 count again. And there's a pop fly to center field. Browns there and makes the play to end the inning. We've played two innings. There's no score. Each team has one hit apiece. We'll be back after these messages. Don't forget to hit the like button on YouTube and subscribe. been you know golf usually weekly play a lot with uh, my wife with the repetitive motion as you know with a lot of golfers it's an unnatural motion that you put your body through after suffering for years with shoulder pain Mike chose stem cell therapy as an alternative to surgery I'm just excited because patients that have been pain for years that are now doing the things that they want to do and Mike's just going to be adding to that list call aligned integrative medicine for exam and x-rays to see if you qualify for stem cell treatment All right, welcome back. We're at the top of the third. No score. Yeah, both pitchers doing a, a great job so far in this game. Like I said, putting the ball in play where their defense can make some plays, and both teams were able to threaten a little bit there. Nature Coast getting their first base runners on, and before that, uh, Cypress Creek was able to, to threaten with runners on second and third. So, but so far, pitchers duel. So bring up the right fielder, Alex Dubrine, for the Coyotes. Gretsch, 28 pitches through two innings. And that's going to miss down and in for ball one. And that's going to be fouled over the third base dugout. Even the count, one ball and one strike. And that ball catches the outside corner. Gretch ahead now, one ball, two strikes. Coyotes are turn the order over after this at bat. They like to get the number nine batter aboard here. 
And that ball had a lot of late break, just missed. Yeah, it did. Two balls and two strikes. I mean, that ball backed up literally at the last second. <laughs> and just off the plate again. So Gretsch trying to establish that outside corner. He's got a 3-2 count. And again, just misses for ball four, and that'll put a runner aboard at first. And we go to the top of the order, the center fielder, Brown. Grounded out in the first inning. I mean, those last three pitches, Dustin, were all in the same exact spot. Yeah, just that outside corner, not missing by much. Good discipline to, to hold off. Look out. Brown had to get out of the way in a hurry on that one. And that ball's hit the left field down the line. A fair ball all the way to the corner. And that's going to put runners at second and third. So give Brown a stand-up double on a ball that was just roped down the third base line. Catch. Good piece of hitting. Ball just crossed the bag in time to stay fair. And this time the Coyotes have runners at second throw with no outs. Yeah, Cypress Creek would love to take advantage of this situation right now and get some runs on the board. Break the ball over first strike. Ferris reached on a walk in the first inning. We're going to miss. Hey, right side. Right side, and Ferris finds himself down the count 0 2. Ball misses off the plate. One ball, two strikes. Nobody out. Runners at second and third. We're in the top of the third. And a breaking ball, put in the air to center. Van Cleve charging in, makes the catch. Runner tags and comes halfway down the line and then retreats. And Van Cleve able to make the play, get the throw in in time. The Brian came about halfway down that third baseline and didn't quite like the angle. It holds up, so. Yeah, it looks like he's... Looked like he was going there for a minute, but uh, that's going to bring up the pitcher, Ryan Maggie, the number three hitter. So we still have runners on second and third with one out. And are they walking him here? I believe they're walking Maggie. Yeah, you they got an are. open base. Open base to work with here to get your double play in action here to try and get you out of the inning if you can get the, the grounder to any of the infield guys, so. Gretsch looked over the dugout and said, put him on, please. Yeah. It's a smart play. Loads up the bases for Gallagher. It is the cleanup hitter. Bases loaded, but does put the double play on. Uh, Sharks playing a little strategy here. I mentioned earlier, Gallagher is a, a power hitter. You do have to be careful with where you're going to put the ball at this at bat. Absolutely. And that ball misses inside for ball one. They start him off with a curveball. And outside pitch is fouled off out of play over the Coyotes' dugout. One ball, one strike, one out. Runners at second and third. Gallagher at the plate. 
And a swing and a miss. That ball had some nice action working from right to left there. Gallagher with a hefty swing. One ball and two strikes. They go away, but Gallagher reaches out and hits it. That's going to be a single into center. One runner score. So give Gallagher the RBI there. And the bases are now loaded. With one out. Brings up the second baseman, Timby. Struck out in the first inning. Or second inning, excuse me. Swing and a miss. And now we're going to get a pinch runner. I think that says 35. I can't really make it out for sure. Is that... If that is 35, it's going to be Chase Coljets. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I apologize if I didn't, but. And that pitch misses. Did not miss by much. One ball, one strike, one out. Base is loaded. One run in for the Coyotes. And we are in the top of the third inning. And that one's fouled straight back out of play. Gretsch gets ahead in the count again. One ball and two strikes. And the outside pitch is fouled off again. And Gretsch, that was his 50th pitch in the third inning. Yeah, good little battle in the in the works here right now. Big spot. And that's down the third base line into left field. One run will score. He's going to wave him in. Second run's coming in, and he's going to be, they call him safe at the plate. So two runs score on the single to left field. Williams made a great throw from left. Runner was just able to get under the tag. And that'll bring up the third baseman, Lachance. So the ball got there in time. Umpire called him safe, so... Inside pitch for ball one. So runners on first and second. After two runs score there, the score's out 3-0. Cypress Creek. And still only one out in the inning. Yeah, Cypress Creek hitters coming up big here in the third inning. Hitting and, and swinging a miss. Some timely hits in some big situations. And a swing and a miss. Dustin, uh, Gretsch is ahead again, one and two. A lot of one and two counts tonight. Yeah, he's doing a great job getting ahead of ahead of the hitters and just, or batters, I should say. And that's straight up. It's like Gretsch and Palmer there. And... Nobody seemed to call the ball or know who was taking it. So that's going to drop in there for it a single. An infield fly, I believe he did. Call on that. I do believe they called an infield fly on they that. Did, they did they, call it. That's they, exactly what happened. Yep, so we do have two outs on the board now.
That'll bring up the DH Burgess. And that ball's fouled off. That's quickly 0-2. I apologize. I believe the the stat's going to be wrong on that. We initially thought the ball dropped for a, sing, uh, a single, but we did not hear the infield fly, which was the correct call. Runners on first and second, less than two outs. And there's a kind of a check swing foul. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners on first and second. Three runs in. And that misses outside, ball one. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Gretsch comes set. He delivers and swinging and miss strike three. But not before the Coyotes played three runs. And we'll go to the middle of the third inning. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button on YouTube. Follow us at Gulf Coast Sports Network. We'll be right back. Welcome back. It's the bottom of the third. So after two quick innings, the top of the third, the Coyotes were able to plate three runs. And Nature Coast will be coming to the plate here to try to answer back. And leading off will be the designated hitter, Jaden Fuentes. Yeah, Cypress Creek's hitters coming up big there with Gallagher and Brown. I think Lachance got an, a nice hit there with runners in scoring position. So we'll see if Nature Coast can answer here. Breaking ball in there on the inside corner. Swing and miss. And point test is down 0 2. And a swing and a miss for strike three. Fast start for Maggie here. Bring up the left fielder, Cassius Williams. You're exactly right, Dustin. He's at 20 pitches coming into the third inning here, or currently, so into the third inning, two and a third. That ball, ball misses off the plate. And that ball's fouled back. Evens up the count, one ball and one strike. Sharks will turn the order over here after Williams. And a breaking ball in there for strike two. One ball, two strikes. And Maggie's locked in right now. Yeah, he definitely... Getting good command on his off speed right now. And a swing and a miss. So back-to-back -back strikeouts. 
That'll bring the Sharks back to the top of the order. The shortstop, Cody Wright, who lined out in the first inning. Sharks looking to get something started with two outs now in the bottom of the third. That ball gets away. Two outs, nobody on. Bottom of the third inning. And that misses off the plate. Two balls, no strikes. Maggie just checking where he missed on that. Just said just a little bit on the outside. And that ball's pretty far off. Three balls, no strikes. I imagine Wright will be taking all the way here, trying to yeah. get a base runner. Yeah, they, H Coast desperately needs a base runner right now. And they'll get one. And hold on, he says, oh. strike one. So that inside call has not exactly been consistent. But that time he calls it a strike. And that's an excuse me swing there. Bring it to a full count, fouled off to the first base dugout. Good job so by Maggie. Three balls, two strikes. Working himself back in this this count. The payoff pitch. And that misses down low. He'll reach on a walk. And that is going to bring up the first baseman, Joseph Rosa, who had a ground out his first at bat. The lefty steps in. And that's going to miss outside. He calls it a strike. It's an interesting call, to say the least. Yeah. Maggie working the inside. Set up away again and fouls it off. So Maggie ahead of 0-2 to Rosa. Looks like Wright was stealing. Shark's trying to manufacture something there. Maggie takes a long look in. And that one's going to be fouled down the third base line. And no one's going to get to that. Nope. Good job by Rosa to fight off a couple. That yeah, runner was going on that pitch as well. A little reset dude again here. 0-2. Runner on first. Two outs. Bottom of the third. 3 nothing. Cypress Creek. And that ball gets away. It's a pass ball. Right down to second. Turns and looks. But he'll stay put. Hey, so a pass ball. Brings the count to 1-2. Moves right up to second base. Puts him in scoring position. Rosa would love to find a spot in the outfield now and get that runner home, start chipping away at this lead. And a swing and a miss. Rosa will strike out, and that'll bring this third inning to an end with no runs in. We've played three, Cypress Creek three, Nature Coast zero. You're watching the Gulf Coast Sports Network. We'll be right back.
One of the reasons we've been so successful at Divinity Med Spa is because we understand what people are looking for. They want to look rested, refreshed, good for their age. We can accomplish this by treatments such as Botox, filler, lasers, and an array of facials, all by a team of trusted experts. This is Divinity, Hernando County's only locally owned and operated med spa. Come see us. We can't wait to meet you. All right, welcome back. We're going to go to the top of the fourth inning here at the Shark Tank where the Sharks find themselves in a 3-0 hole here. Plenty of baseball left. I think when you look at things so far, what the, what's the difference between the two teams? And it's just Cypress been able to get runners on with no outs, one out, and take advantage of the situation. And Nature Coast just waiting late in the innings, getting down two outs, putting those runners aboard, just can't take advantage. So. Coyotes will send up their catcher, Circu. He lined out his first time up. And a swing and a miss. And there's a drive to the shortstop. Right takes a couple steps to his right, makes the play for out number one. They'll bring up the right fielder, Alex De Bruyne. Get a walk his first time up. Gretsch going to take a second to tie the laces. And the lefty hits one up the middle. Levitt gets there across the body. A very nice play, but not in time. That is going to go down as an infield single. Yeah, great try on there. Fielded on the backhand. He was able to get time to set his feet. Just couldn't quite get the ball over in time. Defense did everything right there. Just hit the ball well. That's going to bring up the center fielder, Diesel Brown. He's got a double and a ground out. And a curveball in there, it misses. And now fouled out of play, off to the right side. One ball, one strike. And there's a line drive, base hit into left field. And that'll put runners at first and second for the Coyotes. And Brown having a very nice game so far. Second hit of the night. He sure is. And just like that, two runners are aboard with one out. They'll bring up the shortstop, Andrew Ferris. He's walked and flied out. And that ball is fouled out of play to the right side. This will be pitch number 70 for Gretsch. And the bullpen starting to get busy down there for the Sharks. A check swing. Yes, he did. He did. Says the umpire. And Ferris down the count 0-2. One out. Runners on first and second in a 3 nothing game. The off-speed pitches misses outside. One ball and two strikes. One-two pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. 
And there are two outs. Brings up the pitcher, Ryan Maggie. He's intentionally walked last time. Yeah, good location on that last pitch by Gretsch hitting that outside corner, elevating it just slightly. And that misses off the plate for ball one. And not sure where that missed, but that's ball two. Two balls and no strikes. And that's off the plate. 3-0. Might be a good time to go out and talk to Gretch. Yeah. After this batter. Expect Maggie to hold up here. And that's right down the middle. Three balls and one strike. Three one dangerous count here if you're Gretch. The hitters count, runners at first and second. And that's going to miss away for ball four. The bases are loaded. It's going to bring up the cleanup batter, Gallagher, but not before a mound visit. So yeah. we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Since we've been so successful at Divinity Med Spa is because we understand what people are looking for. They want to look good for their age. We can accomplish this by treatments such as Botox, filler, lasers, and an array of facials. Hernando County's only locally owned and operated med spa. Come see us. Welcome back. The mound meeting is breaking up. Looks like we got uh, Leffler warming up in the Sharks bullpen. That dangerous hitter here up with bases loaded. Uh, Gallagher's already got a hit tonight. And like we mentioned before, he is a deep ball hitter too, so... He comes into a bases loaded two out situation and calls time. Actually, I believe Gretsch stepped off and he wants to talk to McMurdo. Sometimes those pitchers don't like when there's a runner behind them. Right. A swing and a miss. And that's about ex where you expect Gretsch to go. Low, kind of keep the ball away from the plate. See if he can get some to chase some. Good spot. Misses off the outside. Very says the home plate umpire. Very similar spot. Gallagher lays off of that one. We've seen that pitch called a strike tonight. One ball and one strike. And the breaking ball is going to go through the hole. It's short in third. Second run coming home. It's blocked up. Two runs will score. Gallagher heads into second. Just like that, the Coyotes find themselves out front 5-0 with runners at second and third.
And that ball's hit to the third base, gets through to left field, one runs in. So that'll go for a single for Timby. Cypress Creek's just been hitting that left side of the field all night. That was almost in the same exact spot. Took the words right out of my mouth there. It's, um, yeah, right now they're just hitting the ball well and they're in attack mode. Yeah, ever since the third inning, Cypress Creek's bats have been alive and well. And that's in there for a strike. Swing and a miss. No balls and two strikes. Two outs. This will be pitch number 87 for Gretsch. And strike three swing in. That'll end the top half of the fourth inning, but not before three more runs come across the plate. That takes us to the bottom of the fourth inning, Cypress Creek 6, Nature Coast 0. You're watching the Gulf Coast Sports Network. Welcome to the Clubhouse, Tampa Bay's premier baseball and softball training facility. Our 11,000 square foot training facility features rentable cages and bullpen lanes, along with the newest technology such as Hitrax and Rapsodo, baseball and softball pitching machines, full gym and plyo area, all to keep you at the top of your game. We also have a fully stocked baseball and softball pro shop carrying the biggest brands such as Marucci, Rawlings, Easton, DeMarini, Wilson, and many more. If you're in need of training, we also have the area's top professional instructors offering hitting, pitching, fielding, and strength instruction for both baseball and softball players. From youth to professional athletes, the clubhouse has you covered. We are conveniently located one mile east of the Suncoast Parkway on Spring Hill Drive. Stop in and check us out. Welcome back to the broadcast. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Cypress Creek 6, Nature Coast 0. Now, if you're Nature Coast, you don't need it all back in this inning, but you definitely need to start chipping away here soon. The Sharks will send out their three, four, and five batters. That's who's due up, and it'll start with Joey Van Cleve, the center fielder. You're exactly right, Dustin. One at bat at a time. The Sharks team has proven over the season that they can put up some runs. But they got their hands full with Maggie right now. Yeah, make Maggie pitching a gym of a game so far. I believe a one hitter going so far and getting in and out of innings really quick. So Nature Coast needs to get some runners on bases. That ball crosses the inside corner for strike one. And Cleve a power hitter. Yeah, looks like the same pitch, but I'll go down as a ball. One ball, one strike. Maggie continuing to work the inside with Van Cleves. Be interesting to see if he comes back there again. He does, and it's a pop fly to center field. And one out. I'll bring up the cleanup hitter, Dylan Palmer. So for the Sharks, Dustin, they head into spring break after this. They have a spring break tournament next week. I'm not sure about Cyprus if they're on spring break next week, but either way, we're about the midway point of the season. And first pitch is in there for a strike to Palmer. Yeah, we when we talked about Cyprus earlier, yeah, they've played some tough schools. They've played IMG. They've played Calvin Christian. They play IMG Gold, I believe, later in the season. 
Ball's pulled down the line of the third baseman, cross the diamond to the first baseman, and they'll record the out. So, yeah, they've, they've played some top-level talent, and they've played with those teams. So I'll bring up the catcher, Brady McMurdo. That was the chance to Gallagher for the last put out. And the off-speed pitch drops in there for a ball. Looks like the, the bottom of that pitch fell out. <laughs> and the off-speed pitch in there for a strike. One ball and one strike to McMurdo. Two outs. Bottom of the fourth inning. And that misses for a ball. Two balls and one strike. And a swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes, nobody on. Two outs. And that ball is going to be grounded to the shortstop who fumbles the ball. It goes into left field. And McMurdo will be aboard. Not sure if that'll go down as a, a single or an error, but at this point, the Sharks will take the base runner. Yeah, that would have been a tough play for Ferris to make. He had to cover some ground, field that on the on the backhand, and make the throw. So, but Nature Coast getting the a base runner. I'd give him a hit on that one, Dustin, but I might yeah. be a little biased. <laughs> I'll bring up the second baseman, Levitt. All kidding inside. That was a tough play. And that's a foul tip, strike one. Probably will go down as a hit in the book. The Sharks could use a few more right here. And... Gets the outside call there. And quickly, it's oh, no balls and two strikes. Yeah, they're going to have to replace some clay on that gap between third and second after the game tonight. That's probably about the fourth or fifth ball that's been hit in that area so far. They're definitely picking on that, that part of the field. One ball, two strikes, two outs. And Demiza got a really big lead over there. He Maggie did. stepped off. A very healthy lead there. And the one-two pitch. It's going to be a bouncer back to Maggie over to first, and that will retire the side. We've played four, Cypress Creek 6, Nature Coast 0. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the Gulf Coast Sports Network on YouTube. We'll be right back. Preparing for that next step in life isn't always easy. At Nautilus Financial Group, our combination of experience, professionalism, and access to a wide variety of products and services to help meet all of your financial goals. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Nautilus Financial Group. When you play football, you develop this mentality that you, know, you can uh, withstand anything. You, you're Mr. Tough Guy. Uh, so years I had been battling, I was just excited to finally meet someone who knew what I was going through, who saw my pain, to think that in a matter of one treatment, and it got better and better as I uh, began to get treatments throughout the month, you know, why would you deal with this pain for another day?
So for the Sharks, Jake Loeffler will be the new pitcher for Gretsch. So Jake Loeffler enters the game for the Sharks. I apologize. We're not going to be able to update the graphic with that because he's not on our on our list. And for the Coyotes, that's going to bring up the designated hitter, Everett Burgess. Ooh, and look out there. That's a foul ball. I'm not sure who that I think I think that got the home plate umpire. Yeah, it looks like it looks like he's okay. Sounded scary though. He took a, a direct hit there, but it looks like the equipment did its job. Yep. He's calling McMurdo back to the plate. So he looks to be okay. And Ooh. that ball, they're yeah. going to say hit him. Let's say it grazed his left shoulder there. I didn't see that ball change directions. If it grazed him, it was ever so slight. But either way, it almost it went behind him. And it's going to bring up the catcher, Roman Circu. It's lined out twice. And that ball misses down. The 1-0 pitch is on its way, and there's a – caught it second. Oh, nice double him off. Great play. That ball, when it came off the bat, looked like it was going to find its way up the middle there. That's why there was a healthy lead in first. Great job turning a double play on there. Yeah, not much the base runner could do. You just kind of got caught on the in-betweener. I'll bring up the right fielder, Alex DeBruyne. And that ball's up for ball one. Just a weird part of the game where you're the first base. There's not, not much you can do there. You're, you're kind of no. hung out to dry. Exactly. And All that's right. a nasty breaking pitch. Called strike. Yeah, nice right to left action there. It's like a slider and a curve. Maybe that's yep. a slurve. One ball, one strike. And that's going to miss upstairs. Again, we apologize for the graphic. Still shows Gretsch in the game. He is not in the game. Leffler has entered this inning. Two balls, one strike, two outs. And just misses inside. Count goes to three and one. And all four. And that'll bring up the center fielder, Brown. Brown with two hits already tonight. Double and a single. He's had a good night at the plate. He's made some plays out in center. 
he was the one that kind of got that first attack going off in the third inning. And that pitch misses, ball one. That ball's up, up and in. Loeffler just trying to get settled in here, trying to find the zone. Let's leave the ball up, which is dangerous to these guys. They they are not scared to swing the bat. Runner's going to go there on a pass ball. That brings a count to three balls, no strikes with two outs. Brown's now set up on second. Correction, Brown at the plate. And that's right down the middle, taken all the way. Three one. Brown will be looking for his pitch right here to drive. And that misses for ball four. That, that strike zone's been tight. You got to really throw it. You got to throw a really good strike. Yeah, Loeffler has some nice off-speed stuff he's shown early on here. Just location at this point. Runners on first and second with two outs. Harris the batter. And a swing and a miss, foul. Or I'm sorry, swing and foul it off. One ball, one strike, two outs. The Sharks looking to get Ferris here as Cypress Creek would like to turn the order over. And there's a swing, a ground ball to short. And Wright takes it himself for the out. That'll be the third out. And that'll bring this top half of the inning to a close. So we'll go to the middle of the fifth inning. Cypress Creek 6, Nature Coast Sharks 0. We'll be right back on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. One of the reasons we've been so successful at Divinity Med Spa is because we understand what people are looking for. They want to look rested, refreshed, good for their age. We can accomplish this by treatments such as Botox, filler, lasers, and an array of facials, all by a team of trusted experts. This is Divinity, Hernando County's only locally owned and operated med spa. Come see us. We can't wait to meet you. Welcome back to the broadcast between the Cypress Creek Coyotes and the Nitchco Sharks. Right now, the Coyotes are up 6-0, going to the bottom of the fifth inning. And Dustin, to this point, I think the story is Maggie's just been on fire on the mound tonight. Yeah, 52 pitches through, you know, five, in the five, fifth inning now, and he's just done a great job tonight mixing up some pitches and 
attacking the inside corner. Seems to be his preference tonight. Tries to get you inside early and often, and it's it's worked out pretty well for Cypress Creek tonight. Clean off for the Sharks will be Bryce Huell. It'll be 7, 8, 9 for the Sharks. And there's, there's a drive out to center field. Brown gets a quick jump on it and makes the catch. So, well hit ball. Now, Brown probably makes that play look a lot easier than, than it really is. That, that's a pretty good jump you have to get on that and a lot of space to cover. That ball was hit pretty deep. That's the best hit ball tonight off of Maggie. There's been some hits, but that, was, that ball was barreled up. It's going to bring up Jaden Fuentes, a designated hitter. And there's a bouncing ball to third. It's going to be foul. Maggie delivers. Oh, As what a breaking ball misses. Maybe just up just a little bit on that one. One ball and one strike. Uh, swing and a miss on the outside pitch. Yeah. Looked like Fuentes was trying to pull that ball. Yeah, he was. And a swing and a miss, strike three. And Maggie going quickly, right back to the outside. Outs. That's right. Bring up the left fielder, Cassius Williams, struck out his first time at bat. Don't forget, we'll have our Glory Days player of the game at the conclusion. And if you're Nature Coast right now, you just got to try and do something to get Maggie out of the rhythm. He's in a really good rhythm right now. He's hitting his spots. He's getting more confident as this game goes on. That's fouled down the third baseline. And a swing and a miss, strike two. And for Maggie, that is pitch number 60. And wow. strike three, swing it, and he'll tag him out. And that will bring this fifth inning to a close. Sharks go down in order. We played five, Cypress Creek six, Nature Coast zero. You're watching the Gulf Coast Sports Network. Please like and subscribe to the channel and the broadcast. Back for the top half of the sixth inning. Leffler still pitching for the Sharks. I, I don't see anybody down in the bullpen right now. Right now it's his game. For Cypress Creek, they're going to have their three, four, and five hitters. The pitcher, Maggie, to lead things off. Yeah, in the middle of this order in Cypress Creek has been just, like I said, just consistently since the third inning has just been hitting the ball really nicely, finding the gaps. And now Loeffler, he, he does show a nice off-speed pitch. If he can get a little more consistent with that in the zone and pair that up with a couple of uh, fastballs on the, on the corners, hopefully uh, Nature goes for their sake, can find some success. Yeah. 
and catches the outside corner for strike one. Pitch looked to be off the plate. It's been calling that one there tonight. Yeah, as a pitcher, you recognize that. You're going to be like, okay, how much further can I get away with that pitch? You know, That one might have been too far. Yeah. That goes to one and one. And that's down the middle. And that one's hit hard to left that's center field. That's deep. deep. That's gone. And it's gone. Home run for Maggie. That was a no doubter off the bat out into the trees. So not only does he pitch well, he hits well. And that is a home run for Maggie. Yeah, Maggie making it work from both sides of the field tonight, from the plate and from the pitcher's mound. <laughs> Safe to say he's having a great night. Brings up Gallagher, and he grounds foul down the third baseline. Yeah, and things don't get easier with Gallagher at the plate now. Breaking ball in there for strike two. Great that ball had a lot of break. <laughs> it really there. did. Great response so far. It was late break, too. Yes, it was. 0-2. Oh, and that misses up high for a ball. You see McMurdo set up high there. Trying to get him to chase. And see if he comes back to his breaking ball. One ball, two strikes. Nobody out. And that'll miss down, ball two. Two balls, two strikes. So Maggie hit the shot the left center. That still might be going. Yeah, that thing was a shot. You know, the deepest parts of the, the ball field. And there's a swing. Oh. And that ball's going to get through to right center through a diving Levitt. Great effort by Levitt. Yeah, he can't ask for any more than that. I mean, he laid out for it, but the ball was smoked. He was able to get past him out to right field. A rare right field base hit for tonight. And that's going to bring up Timby, the second baseman. Two singles and a strikeout for Timby. And there's a little shot up to shortstop. One at second. Over to first. Did he hold he it? Held he it. Did. He did hold it. What a stretch. And great play by Rosa. Great play there. Rosa saves that ball from going to the fence. And ends up turning the double play. And I'll bring in the chance, the third baseman. He's got a pair of singles and a strikeout. Swing and a miss. Big cut there by Lachance. And there's a that's just to be just foul. O oh, two, two yeah. outs, one run in off the home run. Yes, Cypress Creek bats have been so impressive tonight. Yeah, you gotta give them a lot of credit. They're they're seeing the ball well. They're hitting it well. And a swing and a miss for strike three, and that'll do it for the top half of the sixth. But Maggie Homer's 
give Cypress Creek a little insurance, and we'll go to the bottom of the six. Cypress Creek seven, Nature Coast zero. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome to the clubhouse, Tampa Bay's premier baseball and softball training facility. Our 11,000 square foot training facility features rentable cages and bullpen lanes, along with the newest technology such as hit tracks and rap soto, baseball and softball pitching machines, full gym and plyo area, all to keep you at the top of your game. We also have a fully stocked baseball and softball pro shop carrying the biggest brands such as Marucci, Rawlings, Easton, DeMarini, Wilson, and many more. If you're in need of training, we also have the area's top professional instructors offering hitting, pitching, fielding, and strength instruction for both baseball and softball players. From youth to professional athletes, the clubhouse has you covered. We are conveniently located one mile east of the Suncoast Parkway on Spring Hill Drive. Stop in and check us out. So leading off the bottom of the six for the Sharks will be Cody Wright. They'll send up one, two, and three batters. And first pitch misses upstairs, ball one. Oh, what a – wow. All speed off in pitch. there for a strike. One ball and one strike. Ball had a lot of movement on it. Yeah, it did. That ball misses down. Two balls and one strike. And, and there's a shot it. to center field. And – Oh, Wow. He comes up with a diving catch. catch. What a great, great play by Brown out there. Brown could just cover so much ground. It's your best bet just to stay away from center field. And then where's it at? And there's a shot down the right field line. That's a fair That's ball. He's going to one-hop the fence. Rose is on his way to second, and he'll be in there with a stand-up double. What a hit by Rosa down the right field line. Yeah, that was Nature Coast desperately needed a hit like that just to try and get something going here. And hitting is contagious. That'll bring up the center fielder, Joey Van Cleve. <laughs> Ball's fouled straight back. The ball's one strike, runner on second, one out, and that ball misses down in the dirt. Great stop by Sekru there. Keeps the runner at second. And that ball's on the inside corner for strike two, one ball and two strikes. Maggie shakes off two pitches, comes set. And a swing and a miss on the outside for strike three. And there are two outs. Brings up the cleanup batter, 
the third baseman, Dylan Palmer. Palmer is a power hitter. Maggie comes set. And that misses down, ball. gets to the backstop. Rosa will move up to third. <laughs> and Nature Coast has their potential first run of the game, 90 feet away. Yeah, first time they've really threatened tonight. Let's see if. They can start chipping away here late in the game. And that was fouled off lookout over by the Sharks dugout there. And one ball and one strike. One and one, two outs. Runner at third. We're in the bottom of the sixth. And that misses, gets away, but not far enough. And those blocks don't show up in the stat book, Dustin, but they, they go a long way. No, they're, they're very big. And I think it's kind of the first time tonight we've seen Maggie start to struggle with a little bit of command. Not by much, but this he is human at this point. 75 pitches so far. And that ball miss up. Three balls and one strike. So Palmer has a hitter's count. Maggie with the big lead. I imagine he'll challenge him here. And there's a pop-up. Might stay in play. It's over by the fence. Close, but makes, over, the, makes the play. And that'll be the end of the sixth inning. Which just gets a double, but not able to convert to a run. He played six at 7 0, Cypress Creek. golfer been you know golf usually weekly play a lot with uh, my wife with the repetitive motion as you know with a lot of golfers it's an unnatural motion that you put your body through after suffering for years with shoulder pain Mike chose stem cell therapy as an alternative to surgery I'm just excited because patients that have been pain for years that are now doing the things that they want to do and Mike's just going to be adding to that list call aligned integrative medicine for exam and x-rays to see if you qualify for stem cell treatment So for the Sharks, we have a pitching change. Uh, Hugh will come in to start the top of the seven. Come in relief of Leffler, who came in for Gretsch. So the Sharks are on their third pitcher of the evening. And I believe we have Rosa out and right now. Yes, that is correct. And who's playing first now? Who's on first? <laughs> Number five. Yeah, no, that's Ro Rosa still at first. Okay, my apologies. We're not sure who's in right. But if we figure it out, we'll let you know. For Cypress Creek, that'll bring up the D.H. Everett Burgess to start off the top half of the seventh. He's got a single strikeout, a hit by pitch. Done a little bit of everything. And that ball catches the outside corner for strike one. Come on, 
Ball misses down. One ball, one strike. That ball misses. Two balls and one strike. Ball misses away. Three balls and one strike. And Burgess will start off the inning with a walk. I'll bring up the catcher, Circu, who made some nice blocks in the last half of the sixth inning. Yeah, runners were threatening. He made three or four big time saves there. I say say block, but he might as well be a goalie because he's <laughs> he's kept he's kept the net empty tonight. Potentially did save a run. That pitches across the plate for a strike. I like the hockey reference. Yeah, exactly. And there's a drive out to shallow. Actually, Levitt will go out into shallow center field and make that catch. That's tough running backwards and making a, a catch over your head like that, but he does. Yeah, I love it. Quick to, quick to identify that one as his and makes his way over there to get the first out. And that'll bring up the right fielder, Alex De Bruyne. Two walks in a single. And that misses down. Comes back to just about the same spot there. Misses down. Two balls, no strikes. With one out. Runner on first base. That ball breaks in. Bring the count to three balls and no strikes. I believe that was ball three. The scoreboard says two and oh. Yeah, I believe you're right. I think that was... Or maybe. And there's strike one. And that ball hits wow. the outside corner. Brings it brings it to a full count. Three balls and two strikes. Umpire does confirm. And that ball shot out to left field and caught. Yeah, Williams. Two outs. Didn't have to move too much for that. Right at him and a couple of drops back and Just open your gloves, it'll fall right in. Yep. Two outs that'll bring up the center fielder, Diesel Brown. And that's in there for a strike. Two outs, runner on first. And a nice stop. And a good stop by McMurdo there. One ball, one strike. And there's a drive to center Bad. field. And Cleves under it, and he will make the catch to end the top of the seventh inning. We'll go to the middle of the seventh. The Sharks will have their five, six, and seven batter. We'll be right back on the Gulf Coast Sports Network.
One of the reasons we've been so successful at Divinity Med Spa is because we understand what people are looking for. They want to look rested, refreshed, good for their age. We can accomplish this by treatments such as Botox, filler, lasers, and an array of facials, all by a team of trusted experts. This is Divinity, Hernando County's only locally owned and operated med spa. Come see us. We can't wait to meet you. Brands to the bottom of the seventh. Leading off the inning will be the catcher, Brady McBurdo. There's a high pop fly out of play. And Maggie's going for a complete game. That's pitch number 78, well within his range. And that ball's fouled off again for strike two. And there's a drive to right field, but that's going to be foul. So three pitches, three, three foul balls by McMurdo. Each one's getting a little closer to, to fair play. Yeah, McMurdo's seeing a lot of pitches. And there's a drive to center field. It's going to be right to Brown, who makes the catch. I'll bring up the second baseman, Nate Levitt. Right. right after this inning, we will go to Dustin, who will have our Glory Days player of the game. And that ball misses outside. Just a reminder... Complete game recap can be seen on YouTube as well as our highlights. Be sure to tune in on those on YouTube and Instagram. Inside corner for a strike. One ball and one strike. If you could like and subscribe to the channel, we appreciate it. It doesn't cost a thing and it helps the, the network out. And there's a swing up the middle into center field for a single. And Levitt is aboard. Nice shot there by Levitt. Right up the middle. And Brings up the now pitcher, Bryce Huell. He started in right field. He moved to the pitcher's mound. He'll come in with one out, runner on first. And the breaking ball, swing and a miss for strike one. Maggie's at 85 pitches. And there's a drive to center field. Should it's get down. Play. It will. And back-to-back -back base hits for the Sharks. Nature Coast getting something going early here in the bottom of the seventh. Trying to make this, this interesting. And that'll bring up the designated hitter, Jaden Fuentes. See if you keep this little rally going here. And that pitches down the middle for strike one. I 
second. Still just one out in the inning. Runners on first and second. Fuentes at the plate. And a swing and a miss. Takes the count to 0-2. Breaking ball in the dirt. Runners will stay put. One ball, two strikes to Fuentes. This will be pitch number 90 for Maggie. And a breaking ball gets away. It's a called strike three. The runners were on the move. It's, the first base was occupied, so he's going to be out. So it'll go down as a strikeout, and the two base runners will move up on a pass ball. That's how that'll be scored. It's one of the most confusing plays in baseball. If there was two <laughs> outs, then he could run there. Brings up the left fielder, Cassius Williams. The Sharks are down to their last out. And that's right down there for strike one. No balls, one strikes. Runners on second and third for the Sharks, but they're down to their last out. And that catches the outside for strike two. And there's a drive to left center field. That's going to be caught. And that is going to end the game. And Cypress Creek will win this one 7-0. And at this point, we're going to turn it over to Dustin for tonight's Glory Days Player of the Game. All right, John, let's talk about what Ryan Maggie did tonight. A complete game shutout, uh, six strikeouts on the night. And if he thought, well, maybe I'm not quite there, he's going to add a home run for good measure just to kind of <laughs> seal the deal. So congratulations, Ryan Maggie. You are our Glory Days player of the game. That's an excellent pick, and I can't agree more. A great night, uh, a good game all around. We saw some great hitting, some great pitching, and... Once again, we thank you for watching the telecast or the broadcast tonight. For Dustin Atkins, I'm John McMurdo. We'll see you next time right here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network.